Melting glaciers can mean much more than rising sea levels. Research reveals it also fundamentally changes the ocean's circulation, temperature and chemistry in ways that could impact the coasts right here in the northwest. The Earth's glaciers hold massive amounts of frozen water, and as they melt at unprecedented rates, they're creating unexpected consequences for our oceans. And the ice sheets have these huge amounts of, of liquid water locked into them. It's frozen right now. But if it melts, it goes out in the oceans, and that causes sea level to rise. Glaciologist Ellen Enderlin at Boise State University uses satellite imaging to track how fast icebergs are melting. That meltwater is already reshaping ocean systems and influencing conditions along the Pacific Northwest and beyond. And the icebergs go out in the ocean, float away, and you can imagine their little pockets of fresh water. So they're, they're frozen pockets of fresh water that are drifting out in the ocean and eventually melt and they spread that fresh water out. The ocean's waters circulate through what's called the Global Ocean Conveyor Belt, a system that moves heat from the equator toward the poles. So by the time it gets up towards these polar regions, so top of the earth, bottom of the earth, it's really salty. And that salt is actually what makes it dense, it makes it heavy. And so that makes the water sink and then that drives this global ocean circulation. As ocean water moves toward the poles, heat causes it to evaporate, leaving behind saltier, heavier water. That dense water sinks, helping to drive a global circulation system that regulates climate. But when glaciers melt, they release huge volumes of fresh water, which can slow or even disrupt the flow of ocean currents. If we pump out too much ice out into the oceans from Greenland and Antarctica, and depending on sort of where it melts, how it gets mixed in, it can slow down or actually shut down global ocean circulation. That shift in ocean flows could have far-reaching consequences for global climate patterns, and the Pacific Northwest is feeling the impact. In Idaho, earlier snow melt and reduced summer stream flow are straining irrigation systems in the Boise River Basin, impacting crops. And in Washington State and Oregon, shrinking glaciers feed rivers and coastal waters, affecting salmon runs, hydropower, and even drinking water. Our climate influences things like where we can grow crops. So we alter ocean circulation. That's going to change our atmospheric circulation, which is then going to even change like our longstanding agricultural practices. Jude Binkley, Environment Northwest. Tomorrow on the News at 4, our Environment Northwest series continues in eastern Washington. Cody Proctor takes us to the heart of the Yakima Valley, where farmers are right in the middle of another drought. She explores the connection between the valley's dry conditions and the vanishing glaciers in the mountains. And to see all of our coverage, including a closer look at the glaciers in the Pacific Northwest that have vanished, text the word glaciers to that number that you see on your screen right now, 208-321-5614, and we'll send that directly to you.